Adobe Document Generation API is a service as part of Adobe Document Services that allows you to create data-driven documents. It integrates with Microsoft Power Automate to allow you to connect to a variety of data sources such as SharePoint and Dataverse. The way the document generation works is you can pass any data as JSON along with your word-based template. In your template, you can have conditional logic as well as dynamic images and tables. The output is then either a Word document or a PDF. Let's walk through a quick example of what this can look like. Here we have a SharePoint list for managing candidates we're recruiting for the organization. This list has the candidate's name, title, and contact information. And based on this data, we want to generate personalized offer letters for each candidate. In Microsoft Power Automate, we can get data from the selected item in the SharePoint list, which we're storing in our data variable here. Next, we have a Word template for our offer letter stored in SharePoint. We're going to get that file content so we can pass that to generate the document. If we add a new action here, we can search for Adobe, and what we're going to see is that there's a variety of different connectors available, including Adobe PDF Services, Creative Cloud, and Adobe Acrobat Sign. If I select Adobe PDF Services, there are a variety of different document-related actions available to us. For example, I can compress a PDF, convert a PDF into different Office formats, I can extract content from PDF documents, like tables, or in this case, I can generate a document from a Word template. Once I select that, I just have a couple things I need to set. I can set my template name, which is going to be file.docx. I can set my merge data, which is coming from our data variable in the previous step. And I can set my template file content, which is coming from our file content from SharePoint. Then we're going to save that document back into SharePoint here based on the file content that comes from our document generation step. Now that we have that, let's have a look at what it looks like to create a template in Microsoft Word. And to help us, we're going to copy the data from the previously ran flow to get the item information from SharePoint. In Microsoft Word, I have my Adobe Document Generation Tagger add-in open where I can just simply paste that JSON into there and it'll create tags for me to easily be able to place into the document. So for example, I can select this first name here at the top, search for first name in the tags, and then just simply select that to insert the tag. And that first name will be replaced with the first name item inside of SharePoint. But what about more complex scenarios? Let's say we have this paragraph here, which should only be included if the candidate has a signing bonus as part of their offer. We can make this a conditional section using a conditional content tag to only include this section if the signing bonus field is greater than zero. When we insert that condition, it'll add a wrapper around that paragraph to only include that section if that criteria is met. Now, if I want to preview this content, I can click on the Generate Document button, and it'll upload my sample data along with the document up to our service where I preview the document with the merged information inside of there. Now let's have a look at what it looks like from the context of SharePoint. I have the selected candidate in the SharePoint list here, and I can go up to the Automate menu and choose my Send Offer Letter Flow, and run that flow. And it's going to take all the information from that row, and it's going to pass that to our document generation service through our flow. And then when we look inside of SharePoint, we'll see that generated document is saved right into SharePoint with all the information populated in there. Document Generation API is part of a larger set of services that we have available to help you create digital document experiences within your own apps. These different services are available within Microsoft Power Automate, Logic Apps, as well as REST APIs and SDKs in a variety of different languages. Go check it out to see how you can integrate these experiences into your own apps.